my name is Giles Babbage. I'm a commercial and editorial photographer and writer. From the photography itself and all the talk of uh, being on a photo shoot and working with people, of course being a people person and, and relating to those people is important. But of course you've got to get to that point beforehand and it still comes back to people. There's a lot of networking uh, with social media, there's a lot of uh, opportunity now, things like LinkedIn and a lot of my work comes from LinkedIn and Twitter actually, not, not so much Facebook. Um, but those online resources are there to actually uh, create those opportunities in the real world. So often I'll get talking to someone through LinkedIn because we might have a, a, a mutual connection or a, an interest or a project that we think might be interested to, uh, interesting to work on. But then we'll meet up in, in, on the hillside or even just in a pub, just have a, a first conversation. And then from there, that's where the, the collaborations, the shoots and using those people skills then come into play actually on location. At the end of the day, photography is, uh, certainly the photography that I shoot, is very much about people. So if you can't relate to people and you can't be uh, sensitive to, uh, to, to what their, their practice is or their, their situation, um, that, that's the, the thing that's going to hold you back. And a lot of people have often said that it's 90% people skills and 10% technical. Now, that does vary a little bit. Um, different people have different uh, theories. But at the end of the day, if you're bad with people, you're not going to get the results that you or your clients want. A lot of people think that, rightly or wrongly, they need to study photography in order to get on the ladder as a photographer. Now, a bit of a controversial uh, area. I have my own, <laughs> my own thoughts about it. I studied photography. Personally, it didn't get me really anywhere. I started my business on two credit cards and a personal account, which is certainly not what I would recommend. Um, if you were keen on, for example, being a fashion photographer and you, you thought at age 18, for example, that you wanted to go into fashion, I would say you're much better off going to one of the big cities, doing some assisting work. You may not be paid or you might be paid very small amounts, but at the end of, say, three years, the, the book of contacts that you would have, as well as picking up shoots along the way for yourself, would be far more uh, value than sitting in a classroom for three years. Now. That said, I'm going to be very diplomatic and a lot of people love the classroom and it works very well for them. Um, but at the end of the day, you just need to be focused and uh, determined because it's a very tough industry to get into.